Okay, folks, uh, the growing season is rapidly approaching here. The seeding season, I should say, and I'm just going through all my seeds here that I have. i am actually been testing a few uh, of the seeds, and thankfully I have because some of them have not been uh, cooperating like these hot cherry peppers that I, uh, plants I had last year. I saved some seeds. I did something wrong. I harvested the uh, seeds a little too early. Maybe uh, the, the uh, peppers weren't ripe enough. Something happened because they're not coming up, so... I'm glad I uh, did a little early testing here. So, anyways, uh, we have a bunch of seed here, tomato seeds, uh, and so forth. We're about four weeks ahead of schedule of when it, we should be planting up here in the northeast. Not planting, seeding actually. But uh, I just want to give you a quick little view of the uh, growing room I got here going on. And uh, yeah, you want to hold this, honey, for a second? I, I started a few of these uh, beautiful pepper plants here. I don't know how good you can see those. I started these about the first week in January. I was actually just testing them and they came up so good I didn't have the heart to uh, get rid of them. And they're extremely hot pepper. Really, really nice, uh, you know, cayenne type pepper. Hot pepper. This is some ground pepper flake that I made, right? So that's really cool. We've got these ahead of schedule. These are almost getting a little too big for these pots. So what I'm going to do is hold that ash. Yeah. You don't want them getting too long on you. So I really started these way too early, like I said. But what I'll wind up doing is put them, planting. I'll wind up replanting them in this larger bucket like so. Can you see that ash? And we'll just fill it yeah. like halfway with soil. And as it grows up under the lights, I'll just keep filling it in. And you know until planting time, so I think those are gonna work out okay, even though they're like three months ahead of schedule. It's always nice to have peppers uh, a little early. So these here are some zucchini seeds that I got. Cut. These are some of the uh, zucchini that I got from Burpee. Uh, I planted last year, and this plant I can't say enough about this Burpee summer squash. They call it Ford Hook zucchini. These, these zucchini came out exploding off the plants and they were non-stop last year. And I only saved the seeds from one huge, maybe a two, two and a half foot fruit that I got, zucchini. And these are the seeds. And uh, I tested a few of these also, a little ahead of schedule as you can see up here. See how long those are, Ash? Mm -hmm. That's really not what you're looking for. This was more of a test than anything. But I don't have the heart to get rid of them. I went away for a few days and uh, these things exploded out of the soil in like two days. I couldn't believe it. So I'm going to try to transfer these into a larger pot and try to bury them at least maybe an inch down from the top. I'm going to see if I can uh, try to save those. But uh, zucchini, you don't really need to start early because they, like I said, they explode. And if you have a greenhouse or a hothouse, they will just grow like mad, crazy. So... Way too early for that. Like I said, that was more of a test than anything else. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna start planting maybe in about a week or so, two weeks. Seeding actually my tomatoes, which will be maybe two weeks ahead of schedule, because uh, up in the northeast here, we don't want to uh, start them too late because we uh, we get we have a short season up here too in the northeast. All right, so right here we got some Cubanelli's Italian ash. Um, the seeds in there, I'm going to test them. I got some start, uh, starting soil. We're going to just water those up. And uh, I have some new heat mats that I've been trying that I'm going to be testing out. But th these here, I just kind of wet the soil, put a baggie over them like that. Can you see that, Ash? Yeah. I got the date on there. And uh, I just want to test these Cubanellis to see if they're going to come up. Uh, these here, I'm just going to put them on my warm boiler right here. And uh, this is where I started my zucchini. They were exploding. So get your uh, seeds tested, folks, and uh, happy planting. We'll see you uh, in the garden this year, man. Can't wait. Enjoy, folks.